You know, he's a little crazy, but his experiences have shaped him to be the person he is today. He's been through a lot, and that's what I'm most proud of him is that he doesn't quit and he tries. I have seen him grow, and I have seen him risk so much, and he continues to risk things every day, and that's just why I love him. Ever since I could remember, I was very athletic. Um, I had an older brother, and he was also very athletic, and so everything that he did, I wanted to do. Um, and so, um, you know, I grew up playing soccer is what I started, and then we got into um, football, and then later track and field. And honestly, that's when I realized that my life kind of changed um, because I was very talented as a track and field athlete. And so, um, you know, even though I played a lot of sports, I ended up just focusing on track and field. And I ended up being like, you know, a five-time state champion in the state of Pennsylvania and athlete of the year in the state, Big Ten champion and All-American hurdler. In college, honestly, I thought I was gonna be a professional track athlete. Uh, you know, I went to the Olympic trials. I was one of the top ranked hurdlers in the world. And I was just like doing school because I had to kind of. My sophomore year, I was actually getting letters from all schools all over the country um, for scholarships for track and field. I remember in high school and stuff, never wanting to get a full-time job. I never felt like it was right for me, but I didn't know what to do about it. And so I got offered like an interview with a company that was like um, doing GIS, which is what I studied in college. And when I went to the interview, I you know I went through the whole process, and they ended up offering me the job. Um, and then it's funny because when you're younger, you have all these like dreams and ambitions and stuff like that. And it's almost like when you start to conform, as soon as you take that first step where you like aren't pursuing what you want to do, or you kind of compromise what your values are or what you want to do, it's almost like you can feel yourself dying a little bit inside. And I actually had my seven year anniversary at my job and it's supposed to be like a happy time, like congratulations, you kept a job for seven years or whatever. And um, <clears throat> I just remember being kind of depressed and I realized uh, if that was what I had done my whole life was work this job and then you know later retire, I would have a lot of regrets for things that I didn't try. So yeah, like seven years went by just like it was just gone. And I was just like, what am I doing? Like, what am I doing with my life? You know, am I going to be proud with what I did? You know, and that was like when it, I just kind of was like, I don't want to do this. When I was going through that whole kind of process of realizing I didn't want to work my job anymore and dealing with all the stuff that was happening. Um, I found Rise, the company, um, you know, their whole Never Stop Dreaming campaign. It was just like so poignant for me at the time and that's when I started my YouTube channel. What's up guys, Jared Campisi here. Today I'm gonna to take you through uh, some drills, um, a typical technique day. For the now, after I would work all day, I'd go home and I'd film videos and I'd edit videos and I started posting them online and stuff like that and you know I started a website for online training and I started sharing all of this information and this wealth of knowledge that I had built you know throughout the years running track for eight years and coaching and training and all that and um, I really started to build a community around people who felt the same way that I did and um, I think there was a month that I had where I got like 20,000 subscribers in a month and like um, almost 3 million views and that's when I realized okay if 
I can make a living from this, you know. It really, like my whole life changed like completely. And that's when I met my girlfriend now. And I was in California, my whole family was in Pennsylvania, so I didn't really have a lot of people. <laughs> Having her there was, it really changed my life. After, you know, I had gone through all that, I realized life is too short to waste time. Whatever happens in your life, wherever you are now, or whatever you've been through, you can always turn that around, you know. It's, there's a quote from a movie that I, I really love. Um, it's from Vanilla Sky, and it is, with every passing moment, there's another second to turn it all around. And I just think it's so, so true. And there's so many people who are just kind of going through the motions in their life. And, you know, I've been there myself. And you kind of just like, give up on what you wanted to do with your life and you just kind of figure you know there's too much to do uh, you know I have a job now I have kids I have a family or whatever it happens to be but I think that true fulfillment comes from doing something that you care about it's your life you only get one and if you waste it you don't get a second chance and so that's what I like to bring to other people is I like to hopefully inspire them to at least try if you have something that you want to do then you have to try, at least try to do it.